Hello and good day my friends, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Last time we were together we just set up our outpost on Kadara, and we were kind of following yay odd quests here and there, but we are now back here on the Nexus, because if we go to our journal real quick, we picked up this quest from Sid, and we're trying to find out, uh, yeah, Gil, the ousted leader of the Three Sabers, has revealed that the Nexus sanctioned the mercenaries group's activities in the beginning, Addison herself had knowledge of it. So we're here now to confront her about this. Now, one thing's for sure, always want to save, just in case I regret a decision later. I know why you're here. Yale told me to expect a visit. I hope this blunder wouldn't come to light. But Helios has a habit of dashing our hopes. Have the three sabers been eliminated, Pathfinder? Their deaths don't make this okay. I realize that, Ryder. A poor decision was made. People paid for it, but it's over. As far as everyone's concerned, the three sabers acted on their own. But they didn't, did they? Hey, Ryder. Who the hell's this? Uh, this is Vetra's sister, Sid. Oh, you. I noticed you tried to get someone to look into the Three Sabers. So I was right, wasn't I? Someone on the Nexus was helping the Three Sabers. Yes, it was a mistake. We authorized a course of action that cost lives, but like I said, it's over. You have to tell people. If we made a mistake, we have to own it, right? Who does that serve? It could damage relations with the Angara, spark another uprising. It would be lying. Ryder, if you hide this, what else will you let them hide? We're not taking tips on diplomacy from a teenager. With all due respect, Director, Sid's right. Transparency is important for building trust. People need to know they can trust us, even when we screw up. I'll make sure people hear about this. Pathfinder, you're making a mistake. Maybe. But at least I'm willing to acknowledge it. Oh, yeah, she is kind of, it's hard to believe that she's a teenager, she, I mean, she is freaking tall. Anyways, if that comes back to bite me, so be it, it's worth it. Uh, but for now, let's see what else we got to do. Uh, let's see, if we take priority ops, we got hunting the Archon, uh, we're gonna let that one sit for a little bit, the one that I want to do is uh oh okay so this is this was from the tracker satellites that we encountered last time but um we got these two character quests we got uh Jal's quest which we need to speak to the Moshai and then we got Phoebe's thing which we need to go to the museum on Aya in order to do what I'm thinking is I want to go ahead we'll go ahead and fast travel to Aya to kind of see what Jal wants uh, go talk to Phoebe in the museum, and then we're going to be going to Elaine so we can actually set up our last outpost there. Because that will be the last one we need. And whoa, hello. That was a bit of a shaky cam just then. Oh my goodness, is this like Drunken Simulator or something? What is going on? Why is it so dodgy? Well, anyways. So that's kind of my plan for this episode. Uh, we'll go ahead and head on to Aya first so we can go and clear these two side quests or possibly loyalty missions and we'll move on from there. Uh, first things first though, we are going to be heading into the docking area and there was an additional quest that I saw that I wanted to pick up just to see if it was anything worth doing. Uh, and we also have a quest marker right here. Oh, right. This is the lady that wants to do the interview with us to do the documentary. So let's go ahead and talk to her real quick. First things first. Tan sent a little gift for your positive message. I'd make the most of it. Today's a tough one. The Exiles. Probably the most live wire topic for our leaders. You've met the treacherous mutineers at Kadara Port. Some think the Exiles are a menace to be eradicated. The Exiles have as many problems as the Initiative. Not every outlaw wants us dead. Wow, it's almost heresy to hear that the Exiles are anything but filthy... Well, Exiles. Sorry, I have to cut this short. I need to prep for a meeting. 
Apparently some colonists want to talk about the series. Maybe they'll be willing to go on camera. Uh, okay, that was interesting. Well, for now, let's see what else we got. Uh, I'm assuming it's through here? Okay, apparently the Ungarian diplomat wants to talk to me about something. Interesting place, isn't it? Full of smiles and handshakes. Not many soldiers. Even though when politicians make peace, it's we soldiers who keep it. Politicians get nervous when you hold anything more explosive than a rotten egg. <laughs> You've seen this too. The military life echoes everywhere. But names. I know you, Pathfinder. I am Andrachnel, a Heskal with the Resistance. A Heskal? Well, centuries ago, Heskal were special forces. We defended colonies, passing our training down via oral history. Few remember us today. I came to learn what the Milky Way knows of such things. I heard your father was part of a similar program, an N7. He was one of the first N7s. He was proud of that, even though he didn't stay in service. Didn't stop him teaching me and my sister a few tricks. So, you carry a little of that knowledge with you, as well as your Pathfinder skills. N7 training would benefit my people. Heskal training would benefit yours. Perhaps a few war games. Show me how your skills handle the tests of a Heskal recruit. Challenge yourself and teach me. A chance to work with the Angaran best of the best? Absolutely. Excellent. I'll activate our training beacons. Finding them can be your first test. After that, I look forward to learning. Okay. Uh, battle the Remnant, uh, battle Ancient Ferocious Treasures, retrieve sensitive data. Uh, uh, okay, I've already battled the Remnant, I've already battled the Ancient Creatures, and I found the sensitive data. I'm not sure how any of that counts, but okay. Well, we're not going to be doing that for now. For now, we're going to be going back to Aya, so... After we leave the port here at the Nexus, we will be snap cutting to when I arrive on Aya, so I'll see you guys then. Okie dokie, so we have arrived back on Aya, and we're going to go and see if we can find Phoebe at the museum. Now, the museum did have a bit of a side quest. I'm not sure if I recorded it. I'm not sure. It's been a long time, but there was a helmet. Yes, uh, we had to find this helmet at the bottom of the ravine back on Harvarl, and apparently the lady that I turned it into said, Hey, yeah, there's a bunch more stuff. Go and find them. I was like, okay, I can do that. So I found a few more pieces, so she might, you know, snap at me saying, Hey, give me those pieces you promised me 5,000 years ago. Anyways, but if we can, we'll try to avoid talking to her right now. But let's see what Phoebe wants. Uh, are you drunk, Phoebes? Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah, blah, blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Achha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. Asked for their hardest stuff. It was weird, which I like, but had almost no <clears throat> punch. <laughs> Lightweight. Whoa. Steady now. That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer. It's just. This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the Remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. Don't worry, PB. 
The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? Nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. Not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. You're very understanding. And attractive. Nice combination. <clears throat> Think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. Really? I came here just for Phoebe to be drunk and to say that I was attractive? Okay! Well, that was interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, now that we talked to her, uh, let's see. We got Jal. Okay, so we need to go talk to the Moshai now. Uh, where is the Moshai? The Moshai is right next to us. Okay. Uh, question is, how do we get to where the Moshai is? Oh, she's down there. Hold on, Moshai! I come to thee! Where art thou? You're kind of hidden. Oh, don't make this a huge roundabout. Let me in. Okay. Through here. Please be through this door. Is this just back into the museum again? Dag nabbit, this is back in the museum. Wait, try this door. If I should have come to me. Shh, Axel, I'm alright. You almost died. What's he doing here? Relax. I was invited. So it's true. Aya has opened its doors to outsiders. Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. He risked his life to... Sloane Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. I want to be allies. Equal allies. <laughs> You don't even treat your own equally. Isn't that why the Krogan left? How did you... I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Axel... He didn't used to be like this. He was curious, brilliant. But the Ket... Even without exaltation, they change us. There's still time to bring him around. I want to believe that, but his hatred towards aliens. I'll prove we can be trusted. I hope so. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from EOS. Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest. Uh oh. Something has gone astray. Uh, I can. Where's the door? Oh, it's back here. My bad. Well, I didn't actually know where the door was because it kind of just threw me into the room. Uh, let's see, is there any way I can kind of get rid of what the stuff I'm carrying or is it just permanently attached to me? Eh, let's go with permanently attached. All right, uh, let's see, where do we need to go? We need to go back to the ship and apparently there's a quest over there. Do I wish to fast travel? Yes, get us through this quarters very quickly. Well, apparently we got something interesting going on. Wait. Oh. He just attacked one of our settlements, didn't he? This is gonna be interesting, that's for sure. Alright, let's get aboard the Tempest and find out what's going on. Okay. Gail's been asking if you can come by. I know, I know. We got stuff to do before we can talk to Gil. Or at least a l stuff that I want to get through before we talk to him. For now, Captain let's Vidcon figure out what this VidCon's about. Suvi, play the full distress call from Prodromos. Right away. This is the initiative outpost Prodromos on EOS. We're in need of assistance. Tempest, this one is for you. 
We've got hostiles inbound. No ground activity, but there soon will be. Pathfinder, we need you. Going dark until it's resolved. We're not giving up EOS again. Out. Keep the nav fresh. I'll be on the bridge soon. Understood. Oh, this is cool. One of our places is about to be under attack. This is going to be awesome. Well, not awesome. It's under attack, but, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, first things first, I want to check out the strike teams and the post to see what else we got. Uh, let's see. We got a silver mission. Uh, let's send Hotel Squad after it. Uh, and then... You know what? We'll send this strike team. Yeah, they don't have much success. They're already starting to get some negative traits to them if we go to look at them. Uh, Victor Squad has negative on their supplies. Uh, hotel is good. The other hotel, they're really going downhill fast. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get one squad, uh, this hotel squad, to be perfect, basically with no negative traits. And I'm trying to make enough so I can give them the max uh, equipment upgrade, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. All right, let's check out our AVP. We got a lot of stuff to collect. More Milky's work. Milky Worth? Milky Way technology stuff and all good. And we got a couple consumables which I have not been known how to use the entirety of this game. Okay. Well, let's quickly head back to EOS because problems have arisen. Okay, where do we need to go? EOS, there we go. Alright, guys, we'll be back once we arrive on EOS. Being under attack, they're doing awfully well. The drunk flight attendant is still here. Uh, yeah, if anyone's going to go, that, that person's going to be the first one. Sorry to keep you in the dark, Pathfinder, but there are eyes on this planet. We didn't see much traffic from orbit. It's there, but hopefully you can get ahead of this before it turns into something bad. See you soon. Right in front of you. Thanks for coming. Knew you'd be up for it. I need answers. You said there were hostiles inbound. We've had raids. With all our scientific gizmos, we expected pirates. But not this. 4-5, repeat. Stockpile complete. Waiting for beacon. Launch on detection. Repeat. 1-2-3. What am I hearing, Bradley? Here's my worry. Maybe the raids we've seen were just a decoy. So someone could do a slow tactical build-up in the Black Rock. Tactical? You mean military? No. That was an Angaran voice. He means Rokar. That's why he called us. An attack on our first outpost? Can you imagine how the Nexus would react? Exactly the response Axul wants. Eos has been through enough. We'll put a stop to whatever this is. I knew you would. I hope I'm wrong, Pathfinder. I didn't want to bring this kind of thinking to Andromeda. Head to Black Rock Tan. I'll transmit the nav point for the signal. Okay. This is definitely going to be interesting. I'm not sure if it was a wise choice to bring Jal along, but considering it's the Ungarian people, it's probably the best. Wow, that place is all the way out here. This is going to be interesting, everybody. It's going to be an interesting fight indeed. We are going to be fighting the Roka. Well, we kind of already actually technically fought them already. This is kind of more when they actually tried to attack us. Almost at Black Rock Tand. That is definitely a Roka signal. Understood. Eyes open. Eyes open and drove around. I don't like the sounds of that. Oh, hello. That was probably just a cat vehicle that just flew by. 
Bradley was right. Rokar on sight. Watch for reserves after the first assault. Good Wait, first assault? We're attacking them. Take shields out and go in for the kill. Alright, shit, I need you. Gotta move fast. Don't give them any time to react. Come on, little car sniper. You're not gonna defeat me. Come on, one more snipe. There we go. Snipe swipe. I almost got them all. Y'all, are we clear? Signal. Right. Let's see what they were protecting. Damn it, I wanted to scan that. Roka are not pirates. This signal can call dropships to a precise location. That's the Roka strategy. The scout would have placed the beacon in the center of Prodromos. Telling Axul exactly where to strike. Bradley, Blackrock was a Rokar scout with a homing beacon. Shit. Glad you put an end to that. I'm not walking away. This is my house. Not sure what you're asking, Pathfinder. We can't risk our first outpost. This is third. We lost the first and second. Promise and resilience. What are you planning? If they want to attack an outpost, we'll use their beacon and let them. Then finish the job. The comma ray at Site 2 is still intact. You could broadcast from there. Everyone get that? Rokar welcoming party at Site 2. Armoring up! Well, we got these things annoying. Oh, whoa, there's actually a lot of you here. Nice work. You know, you guys could have shot those things when I was taking that phone call, but no. You were too busy trying to get me killed. Anyways. Okay, so we're ambushing the ambush, which is interesting. So we're going to be going to the spawn point back at site one and setting up an attack at site two. Kind of fun how this all comes full circle, doesn't it? In any regard, we still have to worry about not getting killed on the way over, which should be fine. Did my... Yes, okay. The Nomad did arrive. And oh yeah, uh, in the medium, I was going around the shops just kind of see what I could buy. I was trying to find ship models because I have that wall in my, you know, quarters that allows me to put up ships. And I was trying to look for stuff and I found new paint jobs for the Nomad, which I'm kind of curious to actually check out. Uh, yeah, we are not making that up that hill. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to try some of them out. This one, the one I'm using now, is called the Labyrinth. I just like it because it has all the different kind of... kind of gr grifts and paths on it. What it's meant, at least in the description, it's kind of the... you know... describing the path Stargazers take trying to head to certain places. We've got targets! Yeah. Alright, everybody back in the Nomad, except for me, because I can't stop teleporting a mile away every time I use my sword. <laughs> but anyway. Sam, you have a location for this Rokar beacon? Yes, Pathfinder. Site 2 communications array. Well, let's not keep Axul waiting. Yeah, he can't really blame us for killing him, because he did try to attack us. Starting Rokar signal upload. Are they heading toward us? The Rokar have altered course. Now might be a good time to take cover. Nah. We do not take cover. We make them lose cover. I told you no soon enough. The beacon is live. You couldn't stop our scouts. They've bought it. Hold until they're on the ground. I can wait for this. All right, into the party, everybody. Oh, you think you know what you're doing? You got nothing. Oh, you think you're going to be able to snipe me? No, you won't. 
Ooh, that's three down for me. Well, how about you guys? And of course, you know, one of them's gonna say, I'm on 27. Yeah, right. Oh, come on. We gotta get some shields back. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, you're not getting any shields, bud. How's the fight going? Okay, we just got that sniper to deal with. Come on, take your shields out. Oh shit, they're dropping more reinforcements. We may have gotten a little too eager in my fight, but nonetheless, I'm glad to be a part of it. Come on. Yes! Where do you think you're going, Sniper? You're not going anywhere. In combo. Come on, Patrick. Hold your ground. Don't give in to the... Oh. Oh, no. Who's shooting at me? Okay, there's a raider over there. Let's finish him off. Oh, stop shooting at me. You know you're gonna lose. They're breaking! Don't stop! <laughs> They're breaking. They never had anything to begin with. All right, we're gonna finish you off here the old-fashioned way. Doink. Anything else you want to say to us, Pat? Wait, someone else is here. Did I miss something? Outlaws. Outlaws? Where? Oh, just one of the sniper that we missed. Hold on, I need to reload. I love this guy. I'm hiding. No, you're not. This site is a decoy. Rally at these coordinates. They're on to us. Where are they going? I'll tell you. Site one. We overcharge the power relay to draw them in. Maxul's not going to be happy about that. Promise, here we come. Alright, let's do this, everyone. We delayed them from the first point. Now we gotta delay them at the that second. Body. What happened? Huh? A scan might help us figure that out. Body? Where? Damn it, I'm stuck on a tree. Where is this body? Oh! Yeah, I have this odd quest line here where we had to scan bodies from the very beginning, but I wasn't able to find most Not of them. Not shot, he was just pummeled to death. Well, we know what did this. The cat have nasty pets. West, Porter, M. Get that, Lexi? Yes, Pathfinder. Records updated. Okay. Well, I'm glad we were able to find one more of the bodies that I need to find. There's either one or two left, but... Anyways, back to the assault at hand. Okay, after it has a lag spike on us. Let's switch gears. We don't need six-wheel drive now. Oh. Oh, the Pathfinder is coming. Us. Everyone prepared to defend! Sounds like they're losing their support. Well, it doesn't sound like it's happening fast enough. Whoa, what was that? I had a huge concussive blast hit me in the face. Be careful, Hydra! Hydra? Oh. Come on. Well, the good news is, we're here, so we kind of have infinite health to help us. Okay, everybody on the Hydra, we need to get that down fast. Whoopsie, hello. Ow, 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 that kind of hurt a lot. Damn it, I'm getting hit. Woo! Too many of them. How are you not down yet? Okay, we got it. We're able to get our shields back, but we still need to take it down. Chip, where are you? We need you now. Come on, come on. Just hold the ground. Just hold the ground. Okay. Go. You're not gonna hit me, Hydra. 
Okay, Hydra's down. Okay, who do we got left? Oh, there he is. One down. Where's this other guy? Oh, he's right there. Damn it, I missed. Please reload. Thank you. And good night. Oh, come on. There we go. the last of them. We did it, Ryder. Pathfinder, Axel's shuttle is leaving orbit. I'll remember this. We're not finished. You are today, and we'll be ready next time. Come to Padromo's, Pathfinder. We owe you. Again. <laughs> okay. Well, in this case, we can actually just fast travel back, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so we are right back on EOS. Already getting requests from the Padromos labs. Huh? Okay, don't know what that's about, but anywho, let's go ahead and head back to the mayor and see what's up. Pathfinder? The Rokar attack is over. We'll know what to watch for in the future. It can't just be this old man and his hunches. Special thanks to our friend, Jal. It helps to show we're not all on opposite sides. We can't assume anyone could be an enemy. That's no way to live. We're not planning on it. How's the team holding up? A little shell-shocked. Can't blame them. Maybe I should say something? If you like. <laughs> uh, let's go with this one. Time and time again, you've shown yourselves competent. And this was no exception. The infrastructure you've built, the skills you've developed? Despite adversity, you remain a model for the cluster. So, when do we get back to work? No approval asked or expected. We lose sometimes, but if they have the choice to keep going, they'll take it. This wasn't a good day, but it was another day. You gave them that. Your people, Ryder. Wait. So we're waiting for Axel to do another attack? Jal, what is your loyalty mission turning into? Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this episode today. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment down below. And when we get back together again, we'll go, we'll be going back to Elaine to begin settling that world as the fifth and last settlement or outpost in the Andromeda universe, as far as I know. I'm not sure if there's any other outposts, but when we look at the outpost screen, there's only five planets or five slots that we can use, so here's for hoping that it turns out well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let's just see, what time are we at? Eh, let's go back into the Tempest and see if anything pops up, like in terms of emails or something, but... I'm just go. looking forward to when Axel is going to try to attack again. I mean, come on! We're trying to be peaceful, and you attacked us, so don't blame us if we go to take you out. <laughs> uh, but let, yeah, let's just check the email real quick and just see if anything new popped up. Come on. Of course, this is the time when the loading screen takes eons. Nope, oh, it finished in time. Yay! Gil's been asking if you can come by. Yeah, and I'm going to continue ignoring Gil. Okay, so we got a new... Uh, message uh, from Sellers. I wanted to send my appreciation for clearing my dear friend Sanjit's name. I hate to imagine the ordeal he was subjected to by the exiles who took him. It does my heart good to know that he will be remembered as a faithful member of this incredible endeavor and not a traitor. Perhaps now I can finally put the Nexus revolts behind me and start looking towards the future. Yours, Sellers. Okay. That was nice. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. I know. I was just there. Oh, uh, to Ryder from Jal. Ryder, I received a message from Axel. Forwarding into the meeting room. You should see this. I acknowledge. Okay. Well, we already know Axel is going to be trying something else. He's probably going to be attacking Vold if I had to guess anything. And then he'll probably attack 
Dara, and then he'll probably t attack Elaine once we get to that point. But we'll find out in the next episode. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Bye-bye!